What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Nerf Fortnite Pump SG. This blaster is spring-powered pump action single shot with a breech loading system that shoots Nerf Mega Darts. Performance-wise, this is a little underwhelming, but it's a cool-looking prop-style toy from Fortnite. So let's get into it. Included is the blaster and Mega Darts. External overview of the blaster starting up at the front. There's no inch strike barrel lug. This is a mega blaster. Above the muzzle is a front iron sight, which corresponds with the rear one right here. No inch strike tactical cool rail up on the top. No tactics of any kind at all. Lay bummer. Down here is the pump grip. This blaster is spring powered to prime. You pull back and push forward. Prime weight is pretty light and it's a very smooth action. On the left hand side is the breech. This is how you load the blaster. So after you prime the blaster, you manually open the breech door like that. Then you get a single mega dart and slide it into the barrel like that. After that is loaded, move the pump handle to the forward position and you're ready to fire. This blaster is single shot breech loading, which means it's very, very slow to fire. Moving back to the trigger, which is just bizarre, it feels pretty good, but it has slam fire. It's a single shot breech loading blaster, so you cannot fire two in a row, but they still enabled slam fire so you can dry fire all day, every day. Is it a useful feature? Absolutely not, but it's fun and gimmicky. Welcome to Fortnite. <laughs> I think this is Hasbro's version of a joke. Maybe they're just trolling us. I'm making fun of it, but it actually doesn't have a negative impact on the blaster's performance at all. Just like slam fire in any blaster, if you don't like it, don't use it. In this case, you just can't use it even if you wanted to. But that's it for the trigger. Now moving back to the grip. The grip is on the smaller side, but it's not alienating to a monster hand like mine. I do think it'll be more comfortable for a younger, smaller human, but it works just fine for adults too. And back to the stock, it's very simple. There are no compartments, adjustability. It's a permanently fixed stock. It's not removable. That is an external overview of the Pump SG. It's a pretty simple blaster. Now I'll show you it firing. Shooting normal red Nerf Mega Darts. Operating the Pump SG went just as expected. I did not experience any jams and malfunctions with this blaster. And I apologize, I know it has slam fire enabled, but I couldn't show it to you because it's impossible. I still can't get over that. What a troll, Hasbro. <laughs> And to compare this blaster to others, I put it up on my chronograph and achieved an average velocity of 74 feet per second shooting Nerf Mega Darts, which is in line with other Mega Blasters on the market, so the firing performance is pretty average. That is the objective information I can provide on this blaster, now to my personal opinion. Overall, this blaster is exactly what I expected from a single shot breech loading Mega Blaster like this. I did not experience any jams and malfunctions, and the firing performance is in line with other Mega Blasters on the market, so there's no objective reason to avoid purchasing this one. And the ergonomics are quite comfortable, it is a fun blaster to hold. And just like other Nerf Fortnite blasters, on the market, it is deceivingly lightweight, so it's very easy and fast to flip around quickly. So overall, I think they did what they set out to do pretty well. Now to the question, to buy or not to buy. If you're a performance-oriented nerfer, absolutely not. It's a single-shot, breech-loading Mega Blaster that's gigantic and ridiculously overpriced. So definitely don't buy this if you intend to shoot it at other people effectively. Pretty much any other Mega Blaster on the market right now will perform better than this one. It's just so slow to shoot, the rate of fire is really slow, it's a gigantic blaster for only shooting one dart at a time. But you performance-oriented nerfers already knew that. You didn't need my opinion, obviously. So who would I recommend this blaster to? If you're a hardcore Fortnite fan and you just want something to derp around with, primarily dry firing and not actually shooting, you could actually consider this one. It feels pretty cool. It feels true to a shotgun vibe. The ergonomics make it fun to hold. It's deceivingly lightweight, so it make a really exceptional prop blaster if you're just carrying it around and not actually shooting it all day, like a cosplay event. And I think even Hasbro knows people are gonna buy this and not actually shoot it. They just wanna hold it and dry fire it because it has slam fire and it's a single shot breech loader. I can't get over that Hasbro, geez. But that makes it more fun if you are a cosplayer and you don't actually care about shooting nerf darts because you can dry fire. 
and go like that. So if you wanna buy it to hold it, play with it, derp around and look cool, maybe consider it. But if you wanna buy a blaster to actually shoot Nerf darts, definitely don't buy this one. Any other Mega Blaster on the market right now would be a better choice. But hopefully I've laid out all the information for you to make an educated purchase decision on your own. If you'd like to buy one of these, I'll put a buy link in the description box below. That concludes this video review. Thanks so much for watching, bros. And as always, stay tactical. Thank you.